have just enjoyed a lovely little stay at Soho Farmhouse. Hello. Hello. And now we thought we would come and do a little Bista Village shop. I thought I would bring you along with me and just catch up with you in general in this vlog because it's been a long time since I last vlogged. A lot has happened. I have a lot to catch up with. With you. With you. I have a lot to whatever yeah it's been a while since i last vlogged you can tell so we are going to go do some shopping i need to travel home and i will catch up with you this week on everything that's been going on i'm excited for some retail therapy i'm just i'm actually really in a good mood at the moment because we've had a lovely couple of days like chilling a few days off it's been really nice like i feel very fresh now it's just been really nice to do something that feels borderline normal for the first time in so so long and i'm excited to shop somewhere for the first time in so so long so Let's go taking my coffee with me. There are these mockers at Soho Farmhouse and they basically make them with real chocolate. And uh, we've had about three in the past 24 hours, so. <laughs> Look at them, that is our third. I'm pretty sure that is our third in 24 hours. Also, if anyone's wondering, yes, I am cold. No, I did not bring a jacket. Yes, my feet are freezing. Let me live, people. I packed poorly, it's raining. Oh my god, this is so cute. I'm so happy to be back. Fingers crossed this isn't a massive fail because I've watched so many vlogs of people coming here and it's been no bueno. Next up, going to Celine, seeing if any of my dream bags have made it in. Oh my god, love this, love this, love the basket bags, very cute. Guys, I know I'm wearing the same colour, but what do we think? I love this. I know your choice would be beige. No, I like the green. Do you like the green? Mm. Yeah, I the green. I'm gonna try this. I love. That's so cute. Stopped at farm shop for some lunch. Lauren's got a berry smoothie. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, always good. Strawberry? Yeah, strawberry, lemon, mint and apple. Ooh, love that. We've got bread, olives, I've got a salad coming. Village. Bye. We are done at Abista Village. I have a little purchase on the back seat, which I will show you, I think, tomorrow. Because by the time we get back, it's going to be very late. We have just had some lunch at Farm Shop, which I used to love so much. But actually being plant-based, I had a salad. It was salad or soup, which was slightly disappointing. But Lauren had a lovely chicken and bacon salad, mm -hmm. which was delish. And now on our way home, I thought I'd give you a rundown of my post covid thoughts or yeah post covid thoughts no yeah. i don't have post i don't have covid my thoughts on vista village post covid that is what i'm trying to say so dior minimal queue which i loved and was surprising given whoa my sunglasses actually just like <laughs> flew off <laughs> Ow. oh god okay no <laughs> promise i'm a good driver <laughs> how are you enjoying driving the new audi yeah great <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my battery died. Anyway, bye Bista Village. My thoughts, Dior queue was minimal, surprising given the queues for other places. I was actually very surprised. We didn't even queue for five minutes. No. It was very good. In-store was like really minimal as well, like not that many other people, I would say. Gucci and Prada had like the longest queues I've ever seen. And it's meant to have a virtual queuing system and no one seemed to be using it. And I found that very confusing. So I like did my research prior to turning up. I was like, right, I'm gonna have to go to the places that I wanna go to, get in like a virtual queue and then like wait. None of that was happening. So that was weird. People were physically queuing. Where did I like? Chloe was good. There were lots of nice mm. bags. I feel like if you were going there and you like Chloe bags, you would have like a good pick of things. There was a few Chloe Tesses in really pretty colours, like a kind of like duck egg, now corn flowery blue, I would say, which I thought was really pretty. And a cute like white, like the sea bags, but it was like bigger. So yeah, Chloe was good. I really enjoyed Celine, which usually is 
slightly disappointing for me but i and i actually if it wasn't for that i didn't love sales assistant i probably would have um denied over this bag for longer but there was like the big khaki bag and i really loved it but i do think that i could probably find something similar on the high street i don't know maybe that's really stupid of me there was the gray bag that was in there that i loved it was made of ostrich leather though so the markup on it was it was with the discount it was four thousand pounds and i was like <laughs> no no so yeah celine loved things but wasn't happening today ysl found a big sac de jour that i loved but i put it back and i was like i'll come back and see how i feel about it later and i wasn't really thinking about it whilst we were walking around and we decided that that was a sign but the price point in it was really good because normally for the size they're like over two thousand pounds and it was 1500 which is a similar price to my little sac de jours so overall i would say chloe and YSL really kind of like found some good bits that were like at good price points. Celine, great things, not great price points. Dior found something I really liked. I'll talk to you more about Dior tomorrow and give you my roundup. But in the meantime, I need to make a Starbucks order because we are at a Starbucks drive through <laughs> Be right back. Our Starbucks orders are here. I've already bought my order up. Lauren, what did you go for? Uh, iced caramel coffee frap. Iced caramel coffee frap. It looks delish. I went for a decaf iced mocha with hazelnut syrup but forgot the oat milk rookie mistake where else did we go yeah white, white company. company bit boring a little bit boring it was they, a little bit boring yeah they just didn't have a lot of stuff like the baby stuff was cute but there wasn't like sometimes there's christmas stuff but we're a little bit too late in the summer i would say for that if you're looking for like duvets and pillows go for it dressing gowns go for it mm. but really other than that and then the obvious like fragrances and stuff there wasn't a ton i actually really enjoyed like we went into benefit and the cosmetics company which does all of the estee lauder brands and then there was another company that i can't remember the name of it there's another beauty store there that does like nars shiseido yeah bare minerals all of those and it had like discounts on all of those kinds of brands which i really liked because you just don't see that very often and it's really nice looking at some of like the discontinued things like the discontinued nars palettes and stuff that was i really enjoyed that jimmy Choo, we window shopped and just stared at the sparkly shoes that we have absolutely nowhere to wear them balenciaga popped in very quick turnaround nothing particularly notable sometimes you get a great week at vista when there's just like all the stock and sometimes you get a bit of a dead week but yeah on the whole not unsuccessful got this cute little one in the back and me in the front and you in the front <laughs> <laughs> yeah we are on the way home now we'll catch up with you probably not when i'm back because i feel like it will be late we're leaving now and it's like four so it's going to take us at least four hours to get home <laughs> if we don't so it's going to take two and a half it's going to take four hours we're going to hit rush no, hour we will yes yeah, so yeah. it will take probably about three four hours <laughs> If we don't stop at a you were actually joking. <laughs> if we don't stop at a service station, yes, true. it's going to take four hours. I need to be. Um, if we don't stop at a service station, then we will get home in just under three hours. But probably be more like four because it takes me that long to pee. Apparently, <laughs> yeah, that's just weird. Also, guys, I did my nails. What do we think? I think they're really cute. I'm very happy with them. I need to redo them because they're getting to that point where it's normal polish, so it's starting to like crackle a little bit. I used the strips from I think my last vlog, if that's gone up, because I filmed it like three weeks ago and it's still not up. But yeah, I used the strips and I'm very happy with them. They look cute, I think. I'm tempted to do this in another colour, so if you guys can let me know if I should do this in a colour or if you think I should stick to white, that would be amazing. Thanks. Love you, bye. had to take a day yesterday i had a lot to do so i didn't get to catch up with you and continue on my vista village chat everyone was just needing everything from me so i had to like take a day to fully do really boring admin but it's just me and you guys today i'm very excited to catch up with you i haven't done my makeup with you guys in so long so i thought i would give you 
the full life update and a makeup update. A couple of things have changed, so I thought I would show you what's wrong. So where do I start? Since my last vlog, when I was <laughs> locked up, for anyone that hasn't seen that vlog, we got the dreaded isolation notification. Ryan got COVID. I did not. That video hasn't actually gone live yet. I'm putting it live on Monday. So it will have been the last video you saw, but I held on to it for a really long time because it just got to the point where my schedule was very full and I just wasn't at home on a Monday to upload videos. So yeah, I've been holding on to that one for a little while. But anyway, yeah, Ryan is doing much better now. I am obviously, obviously free. <laughs> Uh, because you saw me at Vista Village yesterday. I have been free for a long time. And then literally the day, my freedom day, the day I was out of isolation, unfortunately my grandpa passed away, which I think I've kind of briefly nudged at in a previous vlog. I will link it at the top of the screen if you haven't seen the vlog. So yeah, that happened, which has been really difficult for my family. I've also been feeling a bit unwell and it's all collided with literally the busiest working month of my life. I never normally have busy summers. It has been very unexpected. So there's been a lot to process and I've just kind of had to pick where I am putting my time and just trying to remain as consistent across everything as physically possible. So yeah, July has been utterly rubbish to put it very very simply i have not enjoyed it i'm very much looking forward to august and praying that it's not just going to be like a repeat of the previous 30 days 31 days i don't know i don't care but yeah today is a nice quiet day so i'm excited to be home and spend the day with you guys i'm excited to show you what i got from vista village i'm excited to finish doing my makeup because i feel like a little raisin at the moment i had so much sugar when i was away that my skin like honestly they really do say that sugar ages you by about 10 years and i honestly it really does so i'm excited to get back to my regular routine if only for a couple of days before things go a bit crazy again i am very booked for august like i don't want any more bookings <laughs> booked and busy is not my vibe update on the charlotte tilbury bronzer though quickly i have already hit pan the video that you will have seen like the last video where i unboxed this was obviously a long time ago <laughs> but not so long ago that i should have already hit pan but i have hit pan i love it i think because it obviously is a lighter shade this is shade one fair i do use more of it but it works so nicely as an eyeshadow for one, but also an all over bronze tone. It's just this really lovely kind of honey tone and it works really nicely on my skin tone. It's a lovely daytime bronzer and then for a like more dramatic look or for like an evening look, I use my Giorgio Armani bronzer over the top, but the consistency of this is just incredible. I love it and I also love the giant mirror because it's making it so handy to do my makeup every day. So yeah, I'm using a little bit of that as eyeshadow and then I'm just gonna go with my Armani bronzer, which has been absolutely annihilated. I know I don't even know what I did. So I use these very similarly for similarly. <laughs> I use these in a very similar way for my eyes as I do the rest of my face. The Charlotte Tilbury all over and then a little bit of the Giorgio Armani in the crease. So I'm really enjoying it just that really simple eye look at the moment. And then I've been going back to liquid liner, which I've been enjoying so much. If you're up to date on the vlogs, you'll probably already know this. This will not be news to you. And what I like to do is just apply a tiny bit of this to my waterline, my waterline, my lash line. And then I use a tiny little brush to drag it out. It just allows me to be really precise. And then once the product's starting to dry on this brush, I then drag it out and do my wing because the brush isn't so wet. It allows me to get a much softer flick out. She says I might really botch this because I'm talking at the same time. And then sometimes I go over it if I really want the flick to be super noticeable. Thank you. Okay, next I'm using my Glossier Mascara, which is my absolute favourite at the moment. It's also so easy to take off. I get one of my face halos or you can use a flannel and you just make sure it's really wet. And then like just hold it over your eye and this stuff melts off. So I've been finding it's been really good for my lashes because I haven't really been having to rub at them so much to get mascara off at the end of the day. So that's literally one coat. So pretty, so natural, it works really nicely on its own as well. I'm gonna leave you zoomed in a little bit like that. But I'm very excited that it's the weekend. I'm seeing my mum tomorrow. I haven't seen her this week because I've been away and we are going to see my granny who has just gone into a home and I'm excited to see her. She might be excited to see me. I don't know if she knows who I am, but I'm excited to see her. And then I am excited to chill with Ryan for the rest of the weekend because I feel like I have barely 
seen him this month. We spent 10 days apart and I think it's actually the longest we have spent apart for a very long time. I would say in like around two years we've not not seen each other for 10 days. So update, I am still obsessed with the Hourglass Lush Sticks. This one is in the shade Loyal. It's been my favourite over the past month and then sometimes I use it on my lips as well. I don't know if I will today. I think I want something a bit pinkier. It's a really lovely, very like neutral lush tone. I think if you were going to wear a warm lip or a very like mauvey cool toned lip it will work either way. I desperately want to do my eyebrows it's actually do you ever have days where it's just like your eyebrows just do not look right. They need help. They need an intervention. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. I've gone back to this over the pencil and I've actually been really liking it. It's very quick because you can apply like a lot of product much quicker than you can with a pencil. Okay we have some bold brows today but I'm kind of rating it. And then we use the Glossier Boy Brow. I have turned into a real Glossier fangirl over the past couple of months. It's really suiting how I like to do my makeup. So my camera cut out, but I don't think you missed much. I have brows, they are big, I'm enjoying them. And then asked if any of you have tried the new bronzers from Glossier. Do I need to order them? Do I need to make a purchase? Let me know. Oh my God, I'm so excited because I've realized that I'm finally home. I haven't done my makeup. I didn't do my makeup yesterday. So <laughs> this is my first time doing my makeup since I've got back. I left my big bronzer brush at home when I went away and I'm so excited because I get to be reunited with it. Be right back. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Here she is. Oh, great. I just find this helps to warm up my face a little bit. I'm using this bronzer. And then I take my smaller bronzer brush and go in with the Giorgio Armani Glow Fusion Powder. Is that what it's called? Luminous Silk Glow Fusion Powder in the shade 8. I had shade 7. I loved shade 7 as well. I also have shade 6, which would probably work well for me in a similar way to the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. And then I'm just lining my lips before I apply something new. I'm trying something new today. Okay, look at these. So I have some new lip glosses from Bare Minerals. So these are the Mineralist Lip Gloss Balms. I have the shade Peace, Clarity, Serenity, Love, and Ingenuity. I tried this one yesterday. It felt really nice. I actually completely forgot to look in the mirror, but it's a very like clear style gloss. They have a really nice fruity smell to them. I think I'm gonna go for this shade today. This is like my kind of shade. This is Peace. I don't know if you'll be able to see the shimmer in it, but it's a really, really pretty nude. This will be really interesting to see what the pigment is like on this, because I haven't put any lip liner like in the center of my lips. So we'll be able to see what the color pigment is like. Mm. Not super pigmenty, very, very sheeny. Unsurprising given the shimmer that you can see in the tube. I'm tempted to try this one. This one doesn't have a shimmer to it. These are really pretty though. They're like not sticky at all. The pink is pretty. I would say they definitely need like lip liners underneath them. The pink one I would say has a little bit more pigment than the other one. I'm just gonna give this darker one a go just, just to see <laughs> whilst I'm at it. So Ingenuity I like, it's like a warm nude brownie colour. It's really pretty. But yeah, these are really cute. I would definitely apply them with a lip liner underneath just to even out the colour on my lips. I think it would probably work a little bit better. But they're really nice, really comfortable. Not sticky, very like creamy texture, which is lovely. I'm just going to mix it with a little bit of lip liner because it'll bug me otherwise. I like that. I really like the consistency of the glosses. Do wish they had a tiny bit more pigment just for me but that's me personally i like to have a product that kind of can do it all rather than layering like a million different things but it's pretty i actually really like this combo i use the kkw beauty lip liner in peach one which uh, these are all disgusting so i'm not going to hold them super close but it's like a really light peachy color so pretty and then the lip liner in the shade love which i believe is from the wedding wedding -y collection again really gross people should make lip liners with white packaging <laughs> <laughs> it looks disgusting. But anyway, I'm gonna curl my hair. I did not wake up like this. I actually did a pre-straighten on the ends just so I knew that the result would be okay. So I'm gonna be using my GHD wand today, which I love for curling my hair. I just put my hair into like roughly two, three, four sections, depending on how much time I have. I have quite a lot of time today, so I might do quite a few sections and get like a really nice set of curls. And I am also very excited lots of things that i'm very excited for but that i just don't sound excited about i'm getting my hair done next week and it's so overdue i really need to start booking in appointments at all of my like places when i leave i will never call back 
and asked to book another appointment in six weeks i'm not that organized so i need to like start doing that when i am actually with my people so very excited to finally be getting my hair done on tuesday i'm gonna go for something a little bit different because i have had the same obviously i've been trying to like grow my hair and make it super like healthy and it's been the same because i've been growing it out since september it's been the same since then so for almost a year and i am so bored so bored i am probably going to see you up from here forget to do because i'm so out of practice spray your curls before you let them drop so like when they're still really curly and you haven't like pulled them apart yet spray them then don't do it after these curls are probably not going to stay a weekend but they look cute for now so but yeah update on my skim stuff i absolutely love everything that i got not really surprising because i kind of knew i've already tried a few bits from the brand i suspected that i would like the things this definitely is a favorite of mine along with the gray set if you haven't watched the free previous vlog like i said i will link it the gray stuff and the cozy collection is my absolute favorite it is so cozy like i haven't actually been able to wear this that much because it's been so warm however it's very stormy today so i will be staying like this I love it. I also have a book update for you off the back of my last video. I started reading The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley and I'm loving it. It's a long one actually, it's very very thick. I am about this much of the way through. I haven't been reading it that much over the past like couple of weeks but whilst I was in isolation this was an absolute dream. I enjoyed it so much. I'm excited to pick it back up this weekend along with this that I have been rereading. Ryan actually reminded me that I have this book. I've read it before. It has a lot of bookmarks along the side of like amazing pages that just really spoke to me. Basically what Ryan does is he just <laughs> reads the pages that i've marked down but he actually says it's really helpful and i was like actually maybe i should do that maybe i should reread this and just read the pages that i've marked down as like little kind of bits of inspiration in the morning so that is what i've also been rereading this is like a weekday morning before i start work whilst i'm having my coffee kind of book never an at night kind of book because it makes me want to work and then this is my evening read of choice and i'm enjoying it so much would highly recommend if you hear any weird noises whilst i'm talking in this vlog at all by the way guys it is so stormy outside i actually don't think my garage is gonna stay up like i i don't know how much of it's gonna be left by the time this wind is done just having a hair appreciation moment because i'm really enjoying it and the reason for my hair appreciation post is because I wanted to save these roses from my garden because they were getting absolutely annihilated by the wind. But now I look like this. <laughs> There's hair all over my face. Are you sure you want to go out there? I don't think you do. Go on. So we have some very cute new flowers in the kitchen. I fell in love with these blue hydrangeas. They are just so pretty. And then we've got some thistles over here. These are so cute, accompanied by my little garden roses. I also have some wrapping here to do because it is my mum's birthday. So I have got her the GHD hairdryer she called me and she was like i really really want this she was literally just asking me if i had a discount code by any chance and i was like no i don't but i'll get you a discount code lol i just bought her the hairdryer because it's her birthday coming up and i have these cards that have been lying around for so long i got sent a stack of these years ago and i still have them and give them away to special people 
on their birthdays. Can anyone tell me a more Libra thing than having birthday cards with your face on them? And then I also thought that she would like this All Saints fragrance, which is Flora Mortis. It's very like up her street. Laurel, but a little bit kind of, it's got like some musky sweet undertones to it, but it's a little bit dark, but not heavy. Just a really nice all rounder for her. I think she'll really enjoy it. I also have this cute little delivery from Raimi that has just arrived. I haven't even unboxed this yet. I saw they'd done a surprise launch of something that I am very, very passionate about. Some of you will know. So I'm really looking forward to wearing this item in particular. Look at this. This is an anklet. I love anklets so much. It's gold with a little like teardrop stone on it. So, so pretty. The stone's actually like a slight blue, I believe. It's a very, very light blue. So it's still very discreet, I would say. I just think it's so pretty. How cute is this? It is so pretty and I really like the design. It has like bigger chain links, but it also has two hoops. So it has one here on this end and then one here as well where I've actually attached the clasp so that you can adjust it to your ankle size, which I think is so great. I'm back again in my fave spot. I thought I would show you what I got from Dior at Vista Village before my period pains fully take hold today because they are creeping in. If I dip out, that is why. That is why I'm very uncomfortable right now. Anyway, Dior is one of my favorite places to visit at Vista Village. Try saying that five times, that is hard. It's one of my favorite places to go. I love shopping in there. In general, I love it even more if there's a discount, quite frankly. They do everything from like bags, jewelry, general accessories to like actual clothing as well. The men's section, I always really like. The jewelry is also very good as well. The jewelry could be like three seasons old. I don't even care. It's always so pretty there. They always have like really good like tribal. Is it tribal or tribal? earrings the little pearl ones there's always like a variation of those in there were quite a few variations in this time and i always really enjoy those they always have really good dioramas really good purses and then there's a couple of other like styles of bags that will creep their way in quite often things i haven't seen before this time there were actually some book totes in there which i was like wow but i would say the prints on the book totes were not the one like i could understand why they had made it to vista village it was good this time but nothing really caught my eye i actually think if i went back in autumn i probably would have uh, spent a lot more there because i'd probably be looking at boots and things like that it wasn't really in the headspace for anything at dior but just very excited to be at vista village so i thought i'd pop in i actually saw this jumper this was in the men's section and I just love the colour so much. I'd actually seen a couple of other people. There was a family in there and they were all looking at various different sweatshirts. And I was like, oh my God, I hope there's some sweatshirts left. I would love a sweatshirt. Like you guys know, I just, I wear them all the time. They are so great for me in terms of cost per wear. So more than anything else, bags, shoes, accessories, I can justify a sweatshirt so, so easily. And I love this one. It's so pretty. Yeah, just very cool. I got it in a men's medium. It is very, very oversized on me, but I just thought it would be perfect for throwing on over some leggings with my trainers. In terms of pricing, it was £600. And unfortunately, it doesn't have the reduction on the tag. So I can't remember exactly what that was. But I just loved it either way. It's so cute. I'll show you a little try on clip now. So this is the sweatshirt. It's so cute. They actually had a few more of them. So if you want to grab one, head down to Vista Village. They had, I think, a lot of mediums. I don't believe there are any smalls. Yeah, it's quite like long if you pull it all the way down. But on me, because my hips are like wider, it also sits quite nicely, kind of just like rolled up. It's got just enough of an elasticated band around the bottom. It's a very loose elasticated hem, but just enough to allow it to sit like this, it's so cute. But that was what I got, I wasn't 100% on bags this time, like I said, there was the Celine, like giant, oversized, kind of like khaki green bag, which I loved so much, tried to take a photo, was not allowed to take a photo of the bag. What I generally like to do when I'm shopping for bags is like have photos and line them all up on my phone and just like flick between, make decisions. No, it was such a cute bag. And then there was the YSL, like the big sac de jour, which I had actually been looking at as like a good work bag it would fit my laptop in it it's a very smart bag it would be a great one for taking to london and it was on sale for the same prices as my like mini sac de jours which i just thought was so so amazing so if you are looking for one in a bigger size i would definitely recommend checking out vista village they had quite a few in there as well but yeah i couldn't make my mind up it wasn't it wasn't happening for me 
on that day. Bag buying was not apparently on the cards. I couldn't make a decision apart from this. So that's my little Vista Village roundup. But overall, I had a really good experience there. The last time I think we went, which would have been just before COVID, really didn't have any luck that time. The stock wasn't great anywhere and it was a bit of a letdown. But this time I just felt like there was a lot of good stuff there. We had a really good time and I would definitely go again. Also now that it's like post COVID and there's not like all of the appointments that you have to make and stuff like that anymore. It just seems like a much easier shopping experience, which is great. I was just trying on some new bits that I picked up from Zara yesterday and I thought I would show you my little try-ons. I'm loving this skirt. It's like a little skirt, so they have shorts at the back and then it's shorts underneath this as well but it's got this wrap front to it which is really really cute and then I also picked up a couple of crop t-shirts. I don't actually have any crop t-shirts that are fitted. I actually don't know if I have any crop t-shirts at all. So I picked these up. I thought they'd be great basics for my wardrobe and they work really nicely with the little kind of flowy skirt as well. This is really cute, really, really summery. I love blue and white so much. This feels very like 2016. 2016? Yeah, 2016, 2017. Susie, like if I flip my hair, I'm back in 2016. <laughs> and then we have the black t-shirt which as with most black items runs a little bit smaller it still fits fine on me but just because of the dye black items do tend to run a little bit more snug it's really nice and fitted super comfy and then i've got this little score as well which i just thought was so cute i couldn't resist it's a really cute blue color and then it's got like a floral purple and white print on it so cute so shorts underneath which i just love and then this like little floaty skirt over the top i just love because i live by the sea the wind is crazy so this is just absolutely ideal for me just paired it with my chanel sliders which do not leave my feet at the moment they're amazing for this weather where it could be sunny one second and raining the next but still fairly warm so they're the perfect shoe because they're waterproof yeah this is so cute i really like this outfit i might keep this on for the rest of the day and then the other things i picked up from zara were this little kind of strappy i'm gonna say crop top it's really thin at the back and then it's got a little bit more material at the front. I just thought this would be lovely with so many different things from like trousers to shorts, skirts as well. It's just such a nice easy piece to work into my wardrobe and I love the kind of towely knitted texture of it. I think it's gonna be really cute. And then I picked up a long sleeve striped t-shirt which just feels like a real throwback to like 2013 for me but i really wanted this to pair with trousers over the next coming months because obviously we're going to be transitioning into autumn so sad um hopefully we get one last little mini uk heat wave before then but i thought this would be really good with shorts whilst it's summer and on those kind of chillier days also just on chillier summer days in general because the temperatures dipped a little bit at the moment so i thought i'd get a lot of wear out of it during the summer but also going into autumn as well so i'll show you both of those now and then i also just picked up some bits for ryan it's his birthday so i picked up just some basic tees for him to unwrap i've booked a trip it's quite a big trip so um i've just got him some little bits to unwrap that are like essentials that i know he needs and a really wavy t-shirt because he loves that kind of stuff and i also got him these little bowls so he loves these mugs that i have in my kitchen which are from this same place and i popped in there to see what they had and they actually had some kind of very similar bowls and i know he loves little bowls like this for like serving things when he cooks at his house so i picked up two of these they're super cute like blue with a little kind of tan 
speckle to them like a real duck egg kind of effect they're so cute so that's what i got for him for his birthday just some nice little bits to unwrap i got these from a place called workshop in brighton if anyone is interested it's such a lovely little shop with really cute like minimalist -y bits i love it so much in there so i picked up two of those which i need to wrap later and then we have this little towely effect kind of knitted top i really like it i've paired it with some white mom jeans which are I think really old top shop. They were sitting very low on me. They're meant to be high-waisted, but we've got a little bit too much room. So for now, whilst I'm trying on, I'm just sitting them <laughs> on my hips. But I think that kind of works for this top because it is more of a crop effect. I really like the little kind of point that it curves into. But yeah, I really like it with white jeans. I think it works really nicely that way, but it would also work really well with like my tailored trousers and stuff like that as well. And then I've just paired it with my little YSL flats, which were an absolute gem in my wardrobe. Very, very cute. What do we think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I've been wanting a new striped jumper for so long and I kind of convinced myself that I just looked a little bit boring in them. I'm still not 100% on that. Maybe I do. I think especially when my hair was kind of like in between lengths. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if I'd look a little bit boring in a striped t-shirt, to be honest, but I think I can make it work. I used to wear them all the time and I actually really like this striped t-shirt with my white denim and then the little tan sandals. I think it's really, really cute. But this would also look really cute with my Vader trainers because they are like almost the exact same colorway this like creamy tone like slightly off-white with black on them so i think they work really really well together and it'd be a lovely like really casual look i got a size medium in this just so it was kind of a little bit slouchy but i think in hindsight i definitely could have gone for a small because it's really quite oversized but if i did want to wear it longer it's kind of like not fitted or restrictive at all what do we think are we happy that stripes are kind of coming back do we hate it i need to know the general consensus because i really wasn't sure at first i was like no i really did that trend to death in like 2013 2014 stripes were my vibe if you were here when stripes were my vibe let me know little ootd this is what i've settled with i've gone for the plain black crop with the same white jeans and the little tan flats and i actually really love this it's just really simple but I feel so comfortable in it, so nice. Just a really nice little working from home kind of summery outfit where it's not like the best weather today. So it's just like, just warm enough. My legs and shoulders are covered, so I'm warm, but I'm not too hot. This is like my perfect outfit for a day like today where the weather just can't decide if it's sunny or cloudy. Is it warm? Is it cold? Who knows? My hair is playing games with me today, but it's fine because it is hair wash day. Looking forward to taming this main but yeah that's what i picked up from zara yesterday i got so much done in town it was great i actually had to go into brighton to have a dentist appointment so the hygienist so i feel like very pampered do my teeth look whiter who knows spent a lot of time having them like scraped it was great it was actually great like i love it and then i saw my dentist just had a general checkup spoke about potentially getting invisalign just to literally make the smallest tweak in the world but i'm so excited to potentially start that journey just because there's been something that has been bugging me that probably no one has ever noticed but i see it and it bugs me and i have been wanting to work on it for the longest time i actually had a consultation three years ago to kind of start that journey and then was like oh it's just so much like months and months of work for just such a small tweak but it's really groping me so I've decided that I'm just going to bite the bullet and hopefully start that journey. I'm waiting for the official pricing, which is probably going to make me want to cry. But I wanted to know, has anyone else had Invisalign? How did you find it? Let me know. Is there a support group I can join for the potential lisp that I might have? But yeah, really excited to do all of that. It was just so nice to see my dentist again. Like I just love going to the dentist. It's a real weird thing that I have. I'm also getting my hair done tonight, so I'm hopefully going to feel incredibly pampered by the time today is out i feel i feel good it feels good to be back actually like i really put off going back to like the hairdressers properly i've literally nipped in and out when i can i don't really have my nails done anymore literally like zero pampering so just those two little things i forgot how much of a difference they really make to like my mood in general and how i feel feel great so i had the dentist i got ryan's things for his birthday i went to zara had a little snoop around and then i also got some photos developed which i die at like there's so many memories that i had like forgotten one of the rolls of film has been taken over the course of 2019 2020 2021 so it had so like honestly there are some of the best photos on it so i got a lot done it was such a productive day i'm about to continue having a productive day fingers crossed i've got a lot on my to-do list this week honestly it's crazy you will see in the next vlog because i need to 
start afresh because it's going to be a long one but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video enjoyed my little life updates and seeing everything that i've been up to lately i will be back with you again very very soon we are back on the regular videos i'm so so happy to be back and to just kind of like embrace the new kind of normal very very busy schedule that i have after the past 18 months i'm excited to be back making new videos being very very booked but hopefully well pampered and well relaxed so yeah i will see you again very very soon thank you so much for sticking with me over the past month it's been a lot but i really appreciate the fact that everyone has been so nice and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye